Okay, congratulations on buying the U-Board kit. When we open up the box, we find the components inside. This is a key piece of the components that you need to keep hold of. It lists the contents in the box, but more importantly, it shows the seven easy steps to setting up the system, which we will now go through. This is the receiver unit. We need to attach the receiver unit to the whiteboard. To do this, the system is complete with some mounting plates. There are four in the box, which gives you the opportunity of shifting the system into four different positions. We'll only need to use one at this point. They're a small metal strip, and on the back side they have an adhesive. On the back of the receiver unit itself are two magnets, and the metal strip simply clicks and attaches to them like that. Inside the box is also a USB cable that will connect the receiver unit to your computer and it has a small USB connector here which can only go one way into the receiver like this. Okay, now what you need to do is remove the strip protecting the adhesive on the back of the mounting plate. Position the U-board approximately in the middle of the projected image and um, at least two centimeters back from the edge of the image. Like this, with a firm press. Once pressed, you can remove the U-board at uh, any other time, shift its location, take it somewhere else. The mounting strip stays on the whiteboard and simply click back into place when you need it to. Alright, then take the active link uh, USB drive from the kit and plug the end of the USB cord that goes to the receiver unit to the end of it like such. Find a spare USB port on your computer and insert the plug. You'll see a small blue light start to flash on active link indicating that it's uh, correctly connected. At this point the software will launch on your computer and you have two choices. One is to launch it which means that we can run the software directly from the supplied USB drive which means no installation is necessary. Or two, the option that most schools prefer is to click on install and follow the procedures after that. This computer already has the software installed, so we'll simply click on launch. And as you can see, the Mint Interactive program has started. Now, we have to turn the receiver unit on and calibrate it for the first time. The on button is at the bottom, and a small blue light should show if it's working correctly. At the top of the row of uh, control buttons on the unit is Calibrate. We touch that and a series of dots come up. To calibrate the unit we take our pen and we touch it lightly to the middle of each of the dots. and we wait for it to save the setting, at which point we're ready to use the system. And it's as simple as that. Now that you've calibrated, you have full control of your computer. You can use the built-in software, Mint Interactive, or you can control any functions that are on your computer, or any programs, open programs, um, documents, etc. As simple as that.